We're here at the Mid-South Farm and Gin Show with FMC, and with me is Don Johnson. And Don, tell me what you do for FMC. Well, I am the uh, tech rep for FMC in the Delta region. I cover Mississippi, Arkansas, and Louisiana. All right. Well, we're going to talk a little bit first about managing bullworms. So um, as far as bullworm control is, uh, is concerned, what's changed in recent years? Well, in recent years, as you know, that the uh, BT traits were put into the cotton plant really to control uh, tobacco budworms from back in the years when we had trouble trying to control those. And so that has worked great. In the process, uh, the cotton bollworm has become resistant to it in the last few years. And now we're trying to control the, the bollworm in cotton uh, to protect the cotton from, from damaged fruit. Well, so uh, is the BT technology then uh, providing an acceptable level of control in cotton, or is that different then? Well, the last few years we've seen the, the level of control fall off with the uh, Cry 2 1 protein and the Cry 1, uh, the 2 protein and, and the 1 protein, both of those. And the seed companies have put in the uh, third protein, they call it the VIP protein. And it's to improve the efficacy of controlling the bollworms. But we've seen that the uh, Cry 1 2 protein has, has failed the last few years, and that's where we're seeing the overspray with the diamides come into play. So, what can growers do then to protect their crop? Well, we recommend using Prevathion, which is a diamide. It's excellent control uh, to provide control to uh, the cotton bollworm. Uh, to reduce the uh, damage to fruit in the cotton and to give the growers a a higher yield. So what are the new guidelines uh, for treatment with a foliar insecticide? The Cry 1-2 protein has been failing. The universities have been recommended in the last few years uh, to spray on egg lay. Uh, 20% egg lay is the timing to pull the trigger, and we recommend Prevathon because of the residual activity you get from Prevathon 2 it will last from 14 up to 21 days at the 20 ounce rate. Well, I know you touched on some of that, but what's what's so special about Prevathon's insect control and the, and the diamide chemistry? Well, to be honest with you, the the protein that's in the cotton plant is one control of the, of the pest, and the other is the diamides. So those are the only two um, tools that the growers have in order to control the the uh, budworm. And, and bollworms and cotton. Well, I think we covered most of this here, but is there anything else you want to add to, to let uh, growers know about how they can use Prevathon insect control? Uh, yes, the universities have shown that uh, the overspray of, of Prevathon or adamide uh, increases the yields and it more than pays for itself in the Cry 1, Cry 2 uh, protein cotton traits. Uh, with the new VIP cotton trait coming out, uh, FMC's recommendation is to go ahead and spray on that 20% uh, egg lay threshold in order to protect that cotton because we don't need to lose another tool out there uh, that will only leave us with one, and that's the diamide. So we think our best option would be to overspray uh, the new trait cotton with, with the diamide. We prefer Prevathon. So, in other words, mixing controls so that we don't use one too much. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. All right. Well, and that's good. The return on investment something definitely that, that growers need to be aware of. All right. Well, here at the Mid-South Farm and Gin Show with FMC, I'm Cindy Zimmerman.